Okay, welcome to uh, Hulompong Railway Station. Uh, the real name is uh, Bangkok Railway Station. This was supposed to be the, the last day and they were going to move everything to Bangsu uh, Grand Station. But at the last minute, there was a change of plan. So they basically, there's another 30 days here. So all trains will uh, depart and arrive here for another 30 days at Hulompong Station. So I'm actually catching a sleeper train tonight from here to uh, Chiang Mai. I booked it about three weeks ago thinking that it was going to be the first train to leave Bangsu Grand Station. The first uh, sleeper train to leave Bangsu Grand Station. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed I'm not going from the, the new station but I'm also kind of pleased that I get one more chance to leave from this, this beautiful station. It's really a nice uh, place to start and finish your journeys. So the reason the, the steam locomotives are here, this is not normal. There's an exhibition that's going on from now until I think it was the 16th of January. So you've got like uh, three, four weeks. There's a photo exhibition, there's uh, the steam locomotives. There's also uh, examples of different uh, carriages you can go and take a look. So I'm going to show you some of the carriages now. And then I will finish on my sleeper train. I'll show you my sleeper train, which I'm taking tonight at 6.10. So 6.10 tonight, I'm taking the sleeper train from here to um, Chiang Mai. So I'm just going to show you uh, some of the carriages first. So as you can see, they've got these signs outside. You can uh, scan the QR code. I think it's only in Thai language. So this first one is third class. Let's go inside and show you inside here. Sorry if it's a bit, it's not very smooth. I don't have my uh, stabilizer. So this uh, the third class has a sink and, and a toilet. The toilet actually uh, flashes onto the uh, the tracks, which is one of the reasons, or one of the problems it have if we move it, all the trains to the new one. Obviously, it's a brand new station, three floors. They don't want people uh, going to the toilet <laughs> in the station there. Okay, so this is a third class carriage. You don't see this too often. There's a few lines. I mean, on the eastern line, it was uh, wooden benches like this, other lines, the third class carriage is more comfortable. So I think it's probably like three or four different kinds of third class carriages. This is one of the original ones. So, and then I keep going. So the next one, this is the SRT Prestige. So these ones you can actually rent the whole carriage. So this is a boardroom. I'm not sure how long that table is, but it's one of the longest tables. So this whole carriage, nearly the whole carriage, is this board room. So you can actually rent this and you have your board meeting on a train and go somewhere. So it's called SRT Prestige. There's probably like four or five uh, different versions. I think they've got a couple here, so I'll show you the others. So this is the SRT Prestige board room. So and then I think, let's see what the next one is. So these are like first class carriages. So this is the, the first class uh, dining lounge. So again, you can book ones like this. So they have a galley there as well. I think this is SRT Prestige. I can't see, I have to look at the color on the outside. Sorry about shaking the picture. And then the next one, yeah, it's another SRT Prestige. So this is uh, uh, has sofas, so you can rent the whole carriage. If I remember right, it's like 35,000 bar for the whole carriage. Oh, there's another boardroom. <laughs> I didn't realize they had two. So they've got two boardroom carriages. So if your company wants to have a meeting and go somewhere at the same time, you, they can, uh, rent this carriage. Okay, I'm not sure what the next one is. Oh, this is the, I'm gonna go outside. Oh, that's, uh, that's the far rain. I thought there was gonna be more. I can't jump down, it's too far. Okay, I'm gonna go back in.
Oh, by the way, that's my that's my train over there. That's the uh, 610. Uh, it's the number nine train to Chiang Mai. It's the sleeper train. I'm going to show you that in a moment. I'll just go back inside. So they've got other SRT Prestige uh, carriages that are not here. So they have one which is, has like a lounge chairs and a more more high so. Uh, they also have one that has a karaoke lounge as well. That's it. Okay, I go down here. I'm sorry. Okay. So, if you're just joining, I'm at uh, Hulongpong uh, Railway Station. Uh, it, it was in the news last month, it, uh, the last day was going to be the 23rd of December and every all the trains were going to move to uh, Bangsu Grand Station. Then they came out with the news that they will keep 20 of the local commuter trains here. And then two days ago the news came out that all the trains will stay here for at least, at least the next 30 days when it's going to be reviewed again. So all the trains that were scheduled, scheduled to leave and the, leave and arrive at uh, Hulompong station uh, will remain here for the next 30 days. So in my case I had booked a ticket. It was supposed to go from Bangsu, Bangsu tonight to Chiang Mai, but uh, the departing station was supposed to be uh, at Bangsu, but because they've changed it now, the departing station is now here at Hulompong, which I kind of, I'm disappointed and happy at the same time. Disappointed I'm not getting to experience the new station for the first time, but happy that I'm leaving from this iconic station. So if you're just joining, there's a uh, railway exhibition here. It will be here until, I think, the 16th of uh, January. So you can come and see these uh, carriages, steam locomotives. There's also an exhibition. There's, out front, there's also a uh, railway museum. Uh, it's free to go in. There's basically, there's 10 check-in points uh, around the station where you can uh, take pictures and uh, you can you get stamps at each of the 10 locations. Once you have all 10 stamps, you, you then get a, a free set of uh, stamps. So there's, there's two locomotives here, 824 and 850. These were imported from Japan in the 1950s. So there's been uh, steam trains running in Thailand. The first railway was 1893, went from Hulumpong Station, not this one, there's another Hulumpong Station out front where Ramaphore Road is. It went from there to Baknam where I live, that was 1893. And then, uh, oh, I can't remember now, 1906 I think, this station was built. So lots of people call this station Hulumpong, but really the name is Bangkok Railway Station or Glung uh, in Thai. So it's, uh, what was it, 105 years old. So this is a really good time now to come and uh, take pictures. If you can come during the day, there won't be that many people, so it's easy to take pictures without uh, anyone uh, in your shot. I just want to pan around upstairs. That's where all the offices are, but the hotel used to be up there. Uh, if, if you know where the toilets are here, you take the steps above the toilets, you can actually go up to this second floor and I took some pictures from there yesterday and it's a really nice a nice view looking down so normally you're not allowed to go up there but at the moment you you can but I think this weekend there's gonna be a lot of people okay sorry it's not very uh, smooth I don't have a steady cam okay so next I'm gonna show you my sleeper train So this is the sign for my, my train I'm catching tonight. So I'm actually going to Chiang Mai. It's a uh, three night and a two day trip, which sounds a bit strange. Normally you go on a, uh, a three day, two nights, but I'm doing three nights, two days. That, that's because the first night is on the train, then one night in Chiang Mai, and then the third night is in uh, on the train again coming back. So I'm doing the sleeper train twice. So it's, this is train number nine. There's two uh, sleeper trains to Chiang Mai. This is the 610. I would advise you to get this one because it's a much better, this is the new one. 
is much better than the other one, which is actually cheaper. But this one is, uh, is more comfortable. You've got power outlets by your bed. You've also got, uh, they give you a free bottle of water. Uh, it's just more comfortable, basically. So my, my seat, I'll show you in a moment. My seat, I got the lower bunk, which is 1,038 baht from Bangkok to Chiang Mai. The upper bunk is slightly cheaper, it's 940 baht. Which sounds a lot, and people are saying, oh, it's cheaper to fly. But look at it this way, this is it's like accommodation as well. So you're staying one night on the train. So I'm gonna arrive first thing in the morning. So I have full two days, all day Friday, all day Saturday. And then uh, Saturday evening, I'm coming back on the train. So I come back home, I arrive back here about seven o'clock on uh, Sunday morning. So this first carriage here, this is the first class. So they've, they've got their own uh, compartments. If I remember right, you can buy buy out the carriage. So it's, uh, what was it, like 2,400 baht. So there's enough room for two people. Have a look. So they have connecting doors, so you can actually open uh, two of those at the same time. So this is the number nine express, the sleeper train. So I'm going to walk up here a bit, and then uh, I'll go in and show you uh, where I'm sitting. So I, I, I did this one last year. I went up on the night train. Uh, I had uh, one night in uh, Chiang Mai and then the next, uh, well I had one day and one night in Chiang Mai and then the next day I came back on the, uh, the day train. <laughs> the advantage of coming back on the day train is the most beautiful section, the one with the best views, is actually in, in the north. So there's better views in the north of Thailand. So if you want to see those views, I'm not going to see it on this sleeper train because it's going to be dark after a while and we arrive early in the morning. But if you come back on the day train, it's, it's really nice views. But I'm not going to do that this time. So, uh, I think this is my one here. I think, yeah, I'll go in here. Come on. So you have these doors, you open them like that. So you have a wash base, wash basin, sink. And then you have, uh, so each carriage is the same. So this is a sit down toilet. And on the other side, there's another sit down toilet. And then this one here, the urinal. So it's all very clean. So this is a new carriage. That's my, my seat, I have my scooter. So I don't know yet if there's gonna be someone opposite me or not. So there's basically two bunks. That's the one at the top, it folds down. And then that's my one at the bottom. So not long after we leave the station, he will actually make up the beds. Well, he will start making up the beds. So my scooter will be underneath my bed. So it's a bit like the railway. You can see uh, there's a map of where we're going, the station where we are, the next station, destination station, temperature inside, temperature outside. Also about the, the toilets, whether they're free or not. And that's a map of where we are at the moment. down a bit. So these, these the, actually I should show you, these are the new ones, so, so this is uh, this is the power outlet. 
you have a light as well and you have a power 220 volts you have, uh, you have curtains and they give you a free a free bottle of water as well so this is the uh, the luggage space above so this is the new one. So the other one, the other train that goes to Chiang Mai, the other sleeper train is the old one. I can't remember if it goes, I think it goes after this one. So it might actually be here on another platform. So like I said, this comes down and you can just see the, uh, the curtains at the top. Maybe I'll do another video later so you can see him making up the beds. So there's, uh, there's a storage space there, but not very big. It wasn't big enough for my uh, scooter. He's just telling them uh, no alcohol. You're not allowed to uh, buy or drink alcohol on the trains. I'm just going to go down a bit more. I'm not sure if I can go all the way down to the first class one or not. I want to show you the first class, but I'm not sure if I can go in. So one of these carriages is for women only. It's probably this one actually. <laughs> so if you're feeling nervous, you can book a carriage that's for women only. The one I'm in is mixed, so it's women and uh, men. And then there's one called a disabled carriage, which basically means there's wheelchair access. Not like here and that kind of thing back I think. Okay, this is the first carriage. Okay, there's no one here. <laughs> okay. So this is uh, the first class carriage. If I remember right, you can buy this one out for 2,400, 2,500 baht. And there's a connecting door to the other side. And you have your own uh, sink in here. Um, what else do you have? Looks like a USB charger, light switch. Look behind the curtain. Yeah, it's the same as my one. Power socket, lights. Much the same. And then you have your own personal uh, thing. Okay, someone come. So the sign here says no drinking. Hi. Ten thousand baht fine, so don't try and sneak one in. So they're, they're going for the first class. Okay. Whoops. Okay. I think I've shown you enough. So I might do a live video from uh, Chiang Mai to show you what Chiang Mai is like at the moment. But I forgot to bring my uh, stabilizer. I was in such a rush. I was busy at school today. So yeah, this is the uh, the new sleeper train. Well, it's been it's been running for a few years, but it's, there's two sleeper trains to Chiang Mai. This is the new one. This is the one you want to catch. It's the number nine. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time.